So what's next after finding the derivative? Well, the equation of the tangent line, of course. So we're going to find the derivative, and then we're going to plug in t1 to get our slope. And then also we have to plug t1 back in here. So we got to plug our parameter in to find our coordinates x and y, and then that will give our equation. So first, we need our derivative. So we have dx dt, and that's 3t squared, and dy dt, which is 4t cubed plus 1. So that means our dy dx is going to be 4t cubed plus 1 over 3t squared. All right. And then we can do some simplifying, but we're just going to be plugging in negative 1. So dy dx is just plugging the negative 1 in. Now, you could also just plug them in individually. So you could plug negative 1 in here to find out what your denominator is, and plug negative 1 into dy dt to find out what the numerator is. But we end up with negative 3 over 3, which is negative 1. So that is the slope of our tangent. Now we need to know where is this located. So remember, as our parameter t is plugged into our x and our y, like this, it gives us these x and y coordinates. So when t is negative 1.2, that's our x and y, and then that would also be our slope, which is negative 1. Now we are going to be using t equals negative 1. So our point would be 0, 0. Or where does that come from? And you can see our slope here is negative 1. So if you take your negative 1 and plug back into your x and your y, it tells us what our x and y coordinates are. So that would be 0. And that would be 0. So we have the point 0, comma 0. So now that we have a slope and we have 0, 0, we can go y minus 0, negative 1 x minus 0, so y equals negative x. And so that would be the equation of our tangent line. And you can see it has that perfect y equals negative x situation. But there's our, our y-intercept is 0 with a slope of negative 1. All right, let's try another one now. All right, so the same thing. We have to find first our x prime, so dx dt, and this is now product rule. So derivative of t would be 1, and it's cosine t, plus t, and then the derivative cosine is negative sine of t. And then we would get now, this would become cosine t minus t sine of t. And so we can now plug it in. So dx dt would be cosine of pi minus pi sine of pi. And you can plug this completely in your calculator, but you get negative 1 minus pi times 0, and so that's negative 1. So that's our dx dt. Now we need dy dt. So dy dt would be, same thing, 1 sine of t, because it's product rule. It's not the exact same thing I just meant. We're doing the same process. And the derivative of sine is cosine t. So now, that's already nice. We can just go dy dt equals sine of pi plus pi cosine pi. And so this would be 0 plus pi times negative 1. So we end up with negative pi. So now when we say our slope of our tangent, this is just going to be dy dt over dx dt. And you can just plug them in. So that's what I was talking about before. Oops, I'm backwards here. Uh, negative pi on top, negative 1 on the bottom, and so our slope is pi. And then we find our points the same way. So x equals pi cosine of pi, and y equals pi sine of pi. So all I'm doing is plugging my parameter t into my x and y, and it's spitting out my x and y coordinates, giving me the location of our tangent. We already know the slope at t equals pi is pi. Okay, so x would equal, uh, same thing, this would be negative pi because cosine of pi is negative 1 and sine of pi is 0. So we would have negative pi comma 0. And now all of this is checkable with Desmos. 
So you can see there it is, negative pi zero. Oh, our graph stopped. Oh, well, that's what it moves. So you can just think about it. You're plugging in your parameter t, and as t moves along, right when it hits negative pi, we get negative pi zero. Sorry, when t equals uh, pi, we end up with negative pi zero with a slope right here of pi. So you can see everything checks. That's pi. That's pi negative pi zero. So now we just do our y minus y pi x minus, so that would be plus pi. So we get y equals pi x plus pi squared. And there you go. So that's finding the tangent line. So there's nothing really new here. You're finding an x and y coordinate. You're finding a, a slope and then you're plugging it in the formula. It's just you're using the parameter t to find both. So you're making a slope formula. We're plugging in pi to give us the slope. And then we're taking our x and y formulas and we're plugging in pi to get the x and the y's. And then there's our answer.